All right, so today we're at the Palmer House Inn. Typically, I do these reviews on superchargers and electronic items, but occasionally I do do the destination chargers. And you'll find on your Tesla destination charger map, you'll find Palmer House Inn. They've got one high-powered wall connector and one J1772. Both are at 40 amps. So when you do your reservation, you want to tell them that you've got an electric car or a Tesla. And if, they, if you're the only Tesla, you get this prime spot right here. Nice, uh, easy to plug in. If there are two electric cars, then you'll have to stretch your cable and, and do it that way. So in that case, they'll let you know that there's another electric car coming in and to bring your J1772 adapter. Or if you happen to have a non-Tesla, this will work for you. So good to go there. This time of year, we got these incredible skies with these phenomenal clouds with a gray sun coming through. It's, it's just really great. The reason I marked this video paid promotion, even though it's not, is I do have a minor conflict of interest here and that my uncles Tom, Billy, and my grandmother run this place. All right, Uncle Tom, why don't you tell us about your, your inn? All right, we bought this three and a half years ago after a two year search. And uh, this one met all of our requirements and we're very happy being here. Uh, Casey, if you pan over to the right, You'll see the Congregational Church, next to which is the Village Green, and then on the other side of the Village Green you get all kinds of uh, nifty restaurants. They're all good, different uh, ethnicities, Northern Italian, Southern Italian, Greek, Mexican. Thai? Thai. Well, no, the Thai restaurant closed. Oh, they closed, okay. And we don't know if it's a temporary close or, or you know, if they're really out of business. But, sushi? Uh, but uh, there, is a, there is a sushi bar. And uh, then there's actually a very decent Chinese restaurant on the other side of the village. Nice. And uh, uh, two chocolate stores with ice cream and nice. a French bakery. French bakery. Okay. I think the French bakery sealed the deal for us. Right. <laughs> and then, of course, you've got all the, the, the shopping and, 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 and items that are nice when you're on a vacation. You want to bring some, some gifts home to the family to commemorate oh, yes. your vacation. They're, they're very nice shops. And uh, more than once, I found myself in trouble with um, husbands that have uh, come and stayed here when I suggested that uh, to their wives to visit the jewelry store and um, but uh, you know it's all in good fun yeah let's go inside away from all these cars yes okay so as you can see we're uh, um, we're celebrating Thanksgiving today and yeah. it's uh, the start of the holiday season so uh, decorations, decorations are going up and we have wonderful help that's yeah, my uh, aunt Charmaine and uh, uncle Colin uh, <laughs> that's uh, doing this for us, which is really terrific. Absolutely. And uh, just uh, two days ago, the uh, the planters with the potted plants came down, and so here we are getting ready for the holiday season. Absolutely. And then uh, some of the guests are getting ready to eat their Thanksgiving dinner as well. Uh, we won't put them on camera, but just believe us. Yeah, no, they're actually eating at this time. They're, okay. they're enjoying their meal. <laughs> and uh, one thing we do, which I just might mention in passing, is that we have a, uh, we're on a Buy America mission. And uh, so these rockers here, for instance, were made in Ohio using American wood and being put together with American labor. So we awesome. try to emphasize that whenever we can. To go with your American car. <clears throat> and American cars. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, was it already in the destination program when you bought, when you bought it or did you have to sign up for it? No, I think it was there. Okay. Yeah. And they maintained it. They've even got a spare uh, high powered wall connector should, should there need to be any uh, maintenance done. And we have a separate charger somewhere, I think it's in the basement, and so if this one goes, we'll have the electrician hook up the other one. Yeah, or if you suddenly get an influx of electric cars, you can add a third one. <laughs> yeah, I just need to find it, to, uh, yeah, find it or buy a new one. You know. uh, we get you hooked up with that. So that's the deal. Am I on the on camera here? Yeah, you're the guy in orange. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were taking a picture of the front door here. Yeah, so, so. Oh, no. <laughs> and uh, so that's pretty much it. Do you want to come in? Yeah, let's go in. It's, uh, We'll have to go around. Oh, it's locked. It's All right, locked. we'll go around. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On a day like today, there's not a lot of traffic going in and out because all the shops are closed for the holiday, so. <laughs> well, we, we keep it locked for um, the benefit of our dog, Brody. Brody is the mascot. <laughs> and uh, so that Brody doesn't decide to go downtown by himself. Right. So if you guys are longtime viewers of the channel, you'll remember Brody from the Rivian uh, goodie bag review. This was actually done in their, uh, in their dining room. And Brody was there. I know a couple of you said hello to him, so. Well, we can bring him out for you. <clears throat> he may already be out, I hear him. 
So here, we're, yes, 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 we're going to get you at so this here's time. Here's check in, and here's Brody. Okay, are you guys ready for Brody? There's Luna. You know Luna. <laughs> here's Brody. And you guys have seen Brody before. And those of you who haven't, this is him. He's not a bear, he's a dog. <laughs> Hi, Brody. Hi. Oh, 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 oh. With the guests, he's the most mellow you've ever seen. He will probably ask you for some food, but you don't have to give it to him if you don't want to. He's uh, always terribly happy when we let him out and let him rejoin the world. And uh, during breakfast, for instance, we keep him in the office. Yeah. This is the most energy I've seen him in years. <laughs> Usually he just kind of slowly walks around and, and just greets people. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, 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 okay. All right, can you sit? What do nice dogs do? What do nice dogs do? Okay, that's a good dog. Okay, okay, good boy. Okay. There you go. So yeah, he's normally like this, <laughs> just chill. Uh, they do have uh, some private cottages and another cottage in addition to this main inn, and they are pet friendly. So you can bring your pup over and stay in the, in the cottage. Right now, I think we have uh, four dogs staying with us. Hey, 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 you stay with us here. Come on, let's sit down. Let's, let's, let's sit, come on, that's a good boy. Okay, that's it, he's, he's all done. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So right now you have four dogs. Four dogs plus Brody. Yeah. And Brody's the calmest and the most mellow of all of them. Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, our, our cousin stayed through, and she had, uh, or actually, our sister, our sister came in with uh, with with um, with her dogs on another visit, and they had a blast. The inn dates back to 1901. It was a private residence; it wasn't an inn back then. But uh, so we've tried to maintain it so that it would feel like an antique home, yeah. and uh, and I think most of our guests really respond to that and uh, and like it that way. So, uh, Minus all that lace. So, there was a lot of lace in here when they bought it. <laughs> so there was a lot of lace when we bought it. Uh, most of that's been taken away. But uh, inside there's a decidedly low-tech feel to the inn. Mm -hmm. And uh, the technology we have is uh, kept out of sight. You don't see it when you're staying here. Right, but it is there to make you comfortable. And there is free Wi-Fi available for you in addition to the, the, the juice for your car. And uh, we replaced all the laundry equipment with high-tech equipment that's... Uh, computerized and sterilizes everything using ozone, yeah. and which then of course dissipates and, and disappears. So uh, we really don't use chemicals to sterilize the, uh, the sheets and the, and the towels. <clears throat> then we've got high-tech refrigeration equipment for, for, to keep your food fresh. And uh, we are waiting for the crews to stop by and equip us with a generator. Nice. It's on order and the preparation work is done. So. And you guys have got yeah. solar coming in in the next year or two as well, right? Solar? Um, not, not so much at this point. Still, uh, we're, still looking into it? Well, we're in the historic district. Oh, they, they shut so, it down. So we're not really able to make uh, substantive changes to the gotcha. exterior of the buildings. But, um, you know, um, we're not ruling it out for a future project. Yeah. But uh, the first thing is the generators. We're on the coast. We do get wind on occasion, yeah. and if a branch falls down somewhere and the lights go out, then uh, then we want to be able to keep the party going here. Yeah, we should look into the Tesla power walls as well. They've got a feature called Stormwatch. When the storm's coming in, they'll charge up to full mm -hmm. and make sure that you can last a couple of days without input and oh. before you have to use your generators and waste all that gas. Or oil. Yeah, yeah. that's um, yeah. something my, to think about. My dad just put uh, mine on his house, and uh, it's, it's weathered a couple of storms already. And kept them going. Oh yeah, and it's silent too. It's enough to uh, keep the hot tub running, is that right? If you get enough of them, you'll, you'll probably need about four or five of them, but he only needed one or two. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, well, you know how it is, even during a storm, some of our guests like to yes. be able to dry their hair and yes. uh, watch TV <laughs> and uh, make coffee. Exactly. And, uh, and take a bubble bath. Yes. Mm. Plus, if they ever do demand charges where they have different rates, different parts of the day here, then they will know your rates and they'll buffer the rates. Uh, that way you're not drawing during the expensive part of the day and they'll refill at the quiet part of the day. Which is I like that. That's very cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Smart batteries. Very smart. High IQ.
Well, there's software. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as far as the people that program them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so you want to show your viewers the living room? Yeah. And so right now we're in the in the small dining room. This is used for special functions, and uh, we have cookies and coffees here twenty uh, four seven, yes. and of course tea if you're if you're a tea drinker, and uh, Sorry. you're about to be on video here. Oh, uh oh. And, and so this is one of our movie stars here. Uh, this is Charmaine. Uh, <laughs> And then there's a large dining room through there, but there's guests in there right now, and I didn't get any releases from them, so. We're having, uh, we're having guests, they're having a Thanksgiving meal here. Yes. So, <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll be out in a moment, okay? And, uh, but uh, we can see the living room. Yeah, let's take a look. All right, so we're in the living room now. We're in the living room, and uh, if you look at it, it looks decidedly low-tech and archaic. Um, on the walls, we have 1926 uh, Art Deco sconces. <clears throat> and uh, straight ahead, that's a 1940 music system. It works quite well, in fact. And uh, then the actual furniture in here was uh, custom made for us. And uh, the uh, manufacturers were instructed to make something for normal sized adults today. Oh, American when size. we started off, we had uh, Victorian furniture, which was built for miniature people. Yes, <clears throat> back when we were smaller. So there we are, the front stairway, and in this building we have 12 rooms. Uh, the 12 rooms in here are pet-free. Yes. And then in the guest house we have four dog-friendly rooms, and our rental cottage with two bedrooms and a living room and kitchenette is also dog-friendly. And if you come back in another day or two, there'll be a tree here, and this will be heavily decorated with, uh, with holiday ornamentation. Uh, yeah. And uh, one thing that also characterizes the holidays would be uh, a greater variety of baked goods and, and things like spiked eggnogs and uh, ciders, malt ciders and so on and so forth. It's, we didn't even talk about nice. breakfast. Breakfast. breakfast every day. <laughs> There's breakfast every day. That's, uh, that's included with your stay. And the uh, menu changes daily and uh, everything is made here. Uh, Brody, do you have something that you want to say to us? We talked about breakfast and now he's hungry. <laughs> you, you want to add something, Brody? What is it you want? Hmm? You have something to tell us? Oh, no, you can't go outside right now. A little later, okay? You have to be patient. Can you sit down for me, please? Come on. Sit down. Okay, what a good boy. Okay, that's good. Okay, down. Thank you, Brody. <laughs> Thank you. That's a good boy. Okay. All right. So we were talking uh, about breakfast? Breakfast, yeah. And so there's a variety of uh, staple dishes that are prepared every day and uh, changes daily. Sometimes we have, uh, today we had waffles with maple syrup and, uh, and bacon. And uh, then sometimes... Um, it could be any variety of pancakes. Mm -hmm. And if you're really lucky, you'll be here when it's peach pancakes. Those are, Those are really great. And, uh, oh, and, and the cranberry pancakes are good. Yeah. <coughs> and um, cranberries, uh, I mean, what am I saying here? Pancakes, it's one dish that can also be done gluten-free for you. Oh, okay. If you're, you know, have that dietary restriction. Vegan. You got it all. And uh, sometimes it'll be an egg dish. And uh, then there's French toast. Um, there are, there might be, um, the other day I think we had uh, quiche. Yes, quiche. And uh, so it's, uh, and my personal favorite is the bread pudding. Ah. It's out of this world. You need to try it, really. This is great. And um, then with, with breakfast, uh, of course, there's coffee, tea, orange juice, cranberry juice. Um, then we've got the Cape Cod Sunrise. Yes. It's a mild alcoholic drink. Very and popular. Related to a mimosa, but it has the rising sun that starts at the bottom of the glass and slowly makes its way to the top. Yes. So that's, that's really popular. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put in right here while we're talking, put in footage of uh, a previous day where we were in the, uh, in, the, in the main dining room. Why don't you tell us about that as well? The main dining room? Yeah. We have six tables in there. And uh, if you come with relatives or family members or you bring your children, we can move tables together for you to uh, to accommodate that. And uh, 
that room faces east, so it gets beautiful sunlight in the morning. And, um, and usually during breakfast hours, we have uh, sort of jazz playing at low volume. Yeah. And um, the idea is that it be relaxing, that you sit back and that you forget all about emails, deadlines, Zoom meetings, commuting, road rage, traffic lights, flat tires. What else? Have I missed anything? All the, the modern inconveniences. <laughs> all, all, the, all the good stuff that you might get at home. Yeah, so. <laughs> yes. And then um, for those health conscious individuals, I, I noticed that during the, um, during the, the, what we call the new normal, uh, <laughs> folks were uh, taking trays to their room, they're reading in the room. Well, that really started with the onset of COVID and we were happy to accommodate that. And uh, that brings me to an important subject. Uh, COVID, we, we take it very seriously. Yeah. In fact, uh, we have adopted a policy to require either proof of vaccination or if you're not vaccinated, you can come, but you need to bring us a recent negative COVID test, no more than three days old. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to get that in here just in case you come relatively uh, close to this time that the video is being recorded so you don't have any surprises. Uh, the policy is out there and it's very fair. We, uh, we did a survey and a tally and it turned out that 99.7% uh, of our guests were vaccinated. Right. So if you're part of that uh, three-tenth of one percent that's not vaccinated, then you know, just, just understand you're minority. in the minority. Yeah. You know? And uh, so, um, so, uh, so we do, we do, um, do room service for breakfast for, for those guests that feel self-conscious about eating in a room with other people. And, uh, oh, our uh, cookies. Oh, I love the cookies. <laughs> All right, they're, they're, they're baked uh, daily here, and then they are vacuum sealed in a very strong plastic envelope. Yes. So the cookies are, the individually wrapped cookies are on a plate in the little dining room, yeah. and next to them is parked a pair of scissors that... Yeah, you can't you, get into them without the scissors. <laughs> you're, you're going to need those to get to the cookies. You'd have to be like, uh, a, like a strong man from the 20s to get in without the And <laughs> uh, unless you have tiger DNA with appropriate teeth, you're not going to go through those, uh, right. those, uh, those plastic um, envelopes. You know, so. Right. It makes it really bad souvenir sometimes, too. On your way out, just grab a cookie. Yeah, it's a <laughs> trampoline grade, grade plastic, you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> so. <clears throat> and so, so there's that. And um, then, obviously, we've got the... Uh, the, the uh, touchless uh, sanitizer dispensers. Yeah. And then, yeah, then you have the machine that ozones and, and everything in the room after they, they leave. Oh, yes, yes. There's, uh, we have a, um, in fact, we're the only hospitality establishment in North America, or we were as of last March, and since then there might have been something else, but we're, we were the only ones at that point to have had a uh, Swiss-made uh, hospital operating room, san uh, room sanitizer. And uh, you roll it into the room, <clears throat> seal the room, start it up. It coats everything with a dry uh, hydrogen peroxide and colloidal silver mist. And uh, that exterminates anything microbial. And then, uh, you know, the room is clean. It's been sanitized. And um, then, of course, it's locked in anticipation of the new guests. And uh, we do that on a rotating basis. Not every room receives that treatment every single time, mm -hmm. but uh, we do use it to keep the end clean. And we also have similar technology in our air conditioning duct work. Oh, awesome. And uh, so to turn what could be a spreader mechanism into a source of healthy air. There you go. So um, again, the air is sanitized as it uh, makes its way to the rooms. So. And then after uh, the guests eat breakfast, uh, they, they mingle with each other, they, they, they meet everybody on their travels, uh, and then they, they go about their way. What, what, what are some of the things that folks do uh, when they're around town? Well, during the around town, there's obviously shopping, dining, window shopping, and, and I, think, I think we've talked about the bakery and the two chocolate shops. Um, some of our guests go on bicycle tours, others go jogging, running. We've got 10 beaches in Falmouth. So... Uh, Hanging out on the beach and swimming is big. Uh, on occasion, we get golfers. And uh, Falmouth also has a heavy-duty baseball program during the summer. And uh, so every so often, we get uh, trainees for that. It's also home to a major curling club. Oh. 
So we got curlers at, at all times of the year. And uh, apart from that, there are day trips, obviously, to Martha's Vineyard. Oh, yes. I love the Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> and uh, from, from the inn, you can walk to the shuttle bus that'll take you to the Vineyard Ferry. It's like a six-minute walk if you walk and, slowly. <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah. And so day trips to Martha's Vineyard are popular. And we have an option for that, uh, a picnic basket or an adventure basket. <clears throat> if you wanted to go to, the, to Martha's Vineyard and... Um, and have lunch on the beach. The adventure basket is more involved than the pic picnic basket and incorporates more high protein um, energy food. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit more expensive than the picnic basket. And they're both really popular. In addition to that, we've got uh, day trips to Hyannis to the JFK Museum, Tri uh, day trips to Provincetown and uh, which is really a fun place and also has some of the most amazing dune landscape you can imagine. Uh, it goes on for miles, miles and miles of dunes and some of them as high as little miniature mountains. And um, then we've got uh, the village of Sandwich that has a um, the Heritage Museums and Garden and uh, the, the gardens are phenomenal, especially in the spring when everything flowers. Definitely worth seeing. And then there's the Antique Car Museum. So for anybody who drives a Tesla, I recommend seeing this, just as a reminder what, what life was like before Teslas arrived. Yeah. And some of these cars go back to the 1920s and, and even earlier. So it's a lot of fun to visit that. Um, then we've got uh, the Cape Cod Winery with wine tasting right here in, in town. And if wine isn't really your thing, Bad Martha's will expose you to dozens of different types of craft beer. Oh, wow. And um, obviously there are longer trips, day trips you can do. And uh, some of our guests go to Newport, Rhode Island mm -hmm. and uh, visit some of the Gilded Ages, Age mansions there. <laughs> and uh, that's a worthwhile recommendation. It's about an hour and a half from here by car. And some of our guests do Plymouth. It's a nice town to visit. Don't raise your hopes too far if you're going to visit Plymouth Rock. <laughs> it's an ordinary rock by the seashore and it's being milked for anything it can give in terms of revenue to the town. Definitely. So it's really not that special. Yeah, we even did a trip to Boston out of here. It was, that was fun as well. And yeah, Boston's about an hour and a half. And of course, that's a, we could do a whole video on, on the things that are available in Boston. <clears throat> but uh, one thing that I would uh, recommend if you go to Boston is uh, to tour the North End, the Italian section of town. And the bakeries there will just make your mouth water and your heart race. And, uh, and you know, it's arguably the most European place you can find while staying on the American continent. And then uh, Back Bay and Beacon Hill are, are definitely worth a visit. So, so that, that's, that's a really nice day trip as well. And if you don't feel like driving it, there is a bus that goes from Falmouth straight into Boston. Oh yeah, that's right. Grandma was telling us about that. Yeah. That it's about an hour and a half. about and, the car uh, and tolls and she just gets in. And <clears throat> yeah, you just climb in and you know, you pull out your iPad, watch a movie and when the movie's done, you're there. That's right. Yeah. It's, you know, environmentally friendly as well because you've got multiple people on one vehicle. Uh, better passenger miles per gallon, yes. Exactly. And, uh, and since you have more passenger miles, then you're getting less uh, less emissions as well, which is a nice touch. All right, so again, we're at the Palmer House Inn in Falmouth, Massachusetts. Tell us uh, how would we get in touch if we wanted to set up a stay? Well, we have a, a nice website online, www.palmerhouseinn.com. And uh, you can also talk to us by phone at 508-548-1230. And um, usually starting at about seven o'clock, somebody is there to help out. And, the, and we're usually available until about nine in the evening and after that by emergency. Okay, and then and, same, same if you have a, a wedding or other event that you want to have here, you'll just call ahead and schedule it. Yes, we have two elopement packages, uh, a, an intimate one for just the bridal couple and, and their two best friends, and then a larger one for the bridal couple plus up to 10 people. And uh, we make all the arrangements. What you would need to do if you want to get married is, married is to get the, um, the marriage license and bring that with you and to tell us what kind of a cake you want and 
what your choice of flowers might be. And then we arrange everything else that's ready for you. You don't have to do anything else. Stress-free, that's what I'm talking about. And uh, so we've had weddings, they've been really, really cool. And some of them are quite formal, you know, with a groom in a tux and the bride in a beautiful dress and, and everybody dressed up. Others are very casual. We've had weddings in jeans and t-shirts. Nice. So it's, it's completely up to you how you want to structure it. But the common denominator is that it's fun and that it's not a source of stress and gray hair and heart attacks. That so, part. <laughs> so. All right. Well, I want to thank you, Tom, for opening your doors to us. And oh, it's a pleasure. And we'll catch you on the flip side. My friend in Europe uh, says the six feet is actually two meters. <laughs> and that's what they're saying. They walk, they walk around and say, Ah. I don't want you coming near me. <laughs> I forget what Scandinavian country, but they say you stay one cow apart. One what? Oh, right? One cow. One what? One, one, What's the word? One Brody apart. <laughs> a cow. Hi. One a cow. Oh, a cow apart. Oh, I like what they do over there, though. In their parks and stuff, they have these big circles. You so weird. Showing you what the six feet are, and your family stay in that circle.
Oh, if it's just an instrumental intro, but I've never heard any lyric for it. Oh, goodbye, no use for no, you I've never to heard die. <laughs> this is where our story ends. Sorry. Great. <laughs> <laughs>